Hi everyone and welcome to part three of the hypnobirthing taster session. In this video I touch on a little bit about the techniques used in hypnobirthing to help women stay calm and relaxed. Now every woman is different so there's not one technique we like to call it a toolkit technique and what that means is you've got different techniques to try out and see which one works for you and these include a range of things. The first one which a lot of couples really enjoy using is your breathing. Now the reason that we focus on your breathing is because we're trying to get grounded and centered and if you're nice and calm and relaxed remember in part two I talked about your body your uterus muscles are going to be able to do what they need to do. Now there are two breaths involved when you're talking about getting prepared for your birth. The first one is known as the up breath and you tend to use this during the first stages of labour and also when you're in the active stage of labour and what is happening during this stage is your uterus muscles are drawing up and thinning out and you're starting to become dilated. So imagining anything that's rising up, so that could be a hot air balloon going up into the sky or the sun rising. So anything, any visualizations that are gonna make you feel up and lifted are gonna really help. And a quick tip to do the up breath is it's just a simple breathing exercise. It's nothing too complicated. There's no count towards them. And all you're doing is a basic breath in through your nose, and then out through your mouth. And when you do this, you need to remember to have your lips slightly parted. If you've got a cold, maybe try breathing in through your mouth instead and really just focus on feeling centered. And again, make sure you relax, your shoulders are nice and comfortable. And all it is, is a deep breath in through your nose and then out through your mouth. And that's it. And you pretty much need to start practicing that right away. A lot of women say the up breath is a lifesaver, especially when your contractions or your surges are starting to come on strong. This will really help you remain calm and relaxed. Now the second breath is called the down breath. And the reason why this changes slightly is when you become fully dilated, the sensations of your contractions start to change and you actually feel like you really need to just go for a really big poo. And what happens is your baby is starting to push through your pelvic area, push through your birth canal. So while you do this down breath, you want to really you know, focus your attention where your pelvic floor is and really breathe your baby down. There's no screaming, there's no kind of agitated pushing because we don't want to kind of contract and tense because that's not going to let our uterus muscles do what they need to do. Instead, it's just a purely a nice quick breath in through our nose and then out through our nose. Now this is different because we're not opening our mouth, we're really trying to push through that pelvic floor area. So again, it's in through our nose and then out through our nose. And drawing them sensations down. And by doing these down breaths, it's gonna really help guide this baby out through your pelvis area and also be ready to bond. So that's where we talk about the techniques of breathing and also visualization. Another technique included in your toolkit is positive affirmations. And the reason we use this is we're wanting to change our perception of birth. So if you've watched, ever watched TV programs which show birth is quite traumatic or on films where the ladies, she's on her back with legs up in the air screaming, this is drilled into our subconscious mind. And we're wanting to kind of take that out and release it. So in order to do this, we use positive affirmations, which are positive statements about birth. And by repeating these positive statements, we're going to really change our view. And a lot of popular ones are, my baby is going to be born when my baby is ready. So you're not putting any stress on yourself when the baby's arriving. 
or my surges, which are also contractions, my surges are not greater than me because they are me. So these are some common affirmations that you can use and really drill in birth is safe. So by repeating these affirmations over and over again, putting them up around your house so you can see them every day, it's going to change your outlook on birth and help you feel differently to what's to come. Another part of my courses, the Mum Friend courses, and also what's included when you learn about hypnobirthing are guided scripts to do as a pair. So this is what you'll do with your birth partner. Now this is gonna really create that bond between yourselves and also the baby. Because babies can hear, you know, from around 20 weeks, babies can hear what's outside the womb. And by their the birth partner reading to the baby is going to start to recognize the partner's voice and it's also going to help the mom feel calm and relaxed and practicing these scripts together is again is a nice way to kind of enjoy this bonding experience and learn the process and included in there we have triggers so we'll have relaxation triggers that you would learn and you would do on the course together so that you would practice and you can also practice these on your own and by learning these scripts and practice them over and over again when the time comes when you go into labor all your partner would need to do is take a few things out of that long script so these triggers that i was talking about or anchors and you'd be able to stay nice and calm and relaxed finally is mp freeze so included in the mom friend courses you actually get free mp freeze that are included that you listen to on an evening before bed and this then touches on a little bit about the positive affirmations, how we're wanting to get into that subconscious mind. So just before bed, your, your subconscious mind is really strong. They also help with your sleep. So if you listen to these MP3s, these positive scripts, both you and your birth partner, you're going to be able to wind down for the day and you'll wake up having a really good night's sleep, feeling nice and rested and feeling positive in the morning. And again, these scripts you use throughout the whole of your pregnancy. And then finally, when you're in labor, they really help in helping you get nice and relaxed and calm during your labor too. You can also use relaxation music. That's also another anchor or trigger that's going to help. So that's what we talk about when we use hypnobirthing techniques. It's a toolkit of techniques. Again, if you want to know more about how to use the techniques, then please don't forget to check out my website, themumfriend.co.uk, where you can have a look at the different courses that I can offer for you virtually and in person. So don't forget to watch the last video, session four, where you mamas and also birth partners get to enjoy a nice guided pregnancy relaxation. Thanks for watching.